Today, Zwift have finally launched their annual subscription option, and yes, you will save some cash paying for the full year. Prices there on screen, shown around the world without tax, $200 Aussie dollars, 190 Canadian, 150 euros, 130 pounds, 15,000 yen, and 150 US dollars. Now, if you are paying monthly, you can switch to paying yearly and saving this money at any time right now over on Zwift.com slash membership. Now, there is a catch to this for those signed up to Zwift via the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. You'll need to switch your billing over to Zwift Direct. You do that by cancelling your subscription on either of those two services, which doesn't delete your account. Everything still remains in place over on Zwift, but it just changes the billing from those companies over to Zwift Direct, and you'll be good to go. Now, there's a few more things to cover off with this. I'll pull up their FAQ. Will I get a free trial period when I sign up for an annual membership? Uh, no, annual memberships do not come with a free trial. You'll get a 30-day money-back guarantee on new accounts. How do annual memberships work? When you sign up for an annual membership, your subscription starts immediately and will renew each year. They say here on their FAQ, don't worry, we'll remind you when your renewal is coming up. If you're an existing monthly subscriber to Zwift and you switch to an annual plan today over on Zwift.com, then your annual plan will start on your next billing cycle date. So for example, let's say my billing cycle date is December the 4th and today I sign up to annual, then I'll have uh, two weeks or so of my current monthly cycle and on the 4th of December, my subscription will switch over to annual and my anniversary date will be December the 4th. Continuing on through the FAQ here, what are my payment options for annual membership? Uh, they'll do Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Discover, JCB, or PayPal. Can I pay for my annual membership with a Zwift gift card? No, not possible. Can I update my payment method for an annual membership? Yes, just head over to Zwift.com slash membership and change whatever card details you have over there. Can I cancel my annual membership? You can cancel, and if you're within that first 30 days of a brand new account, then you'll get a refund. But beyond that, there are no partial refunds. Your 12 months will run out, expire, and you won't be charged again. But within that 12 months, you can still continue to use Swift. Can I pause my annual membership? No, you can't. Can I change the billing date for my annual membership? You can't change the billing date, but Swift do list here that if you cancel and resubscribe on the day you wish to be billed, after your subscription lapses, you can do, it gets a bit tricky. So the easy answer there is you can, but you're gonna have to jump through a few hoops. Can I buy an annual membership for somebody else? Uh, no, you cannot purchase an annual membership on behalf of another member. The Zwift account that is logged in to zwift.com slash membership at the time of purchase will be the account that receives the annual membership. Another question here about canceling. If I cancel before the annual membership is up, can I get a refund? Uh, the quick answer there is no, you can't, but you can continue to ride Zwift for that 12 months. Can I transfer an annual membership? No, you can't. Can I change between annual and monthly memberships? Yep, you can, you can switch between the two. Now I will assume that switch will happen on your billing cycle date, be that monthly or yearly. So it's probably not something you'll switch to and from a lot. I'm moving to another country, can I update my annual membership to my new currency before the next billing cycle? Uh, if you cancel and resubscribe with your updating billing information and currency, you're good to go. I guess the takeout from that is that when you cancel your account, either on Apple App Store, Google Play Store, or even on Zwift.com, canceling your account doesn't delete your account. It just cancels the billing process and eventually your ability to ride in game. But at any time, if you want to come back or change your billing options, monthly, annual, annual, monthly, you can still log in and update those details. Okay, I think that covers most of the questions that will come through. I'm sure the forums will light up with this and there'll be questions coming in from all angles. I'll put links below to the Zwift forums if you want to jump in there and have a look at other questions people have asked and I'm sure Zwift are going to answer. In a nutshell, you'll save yourself about 17% switching to the annual plan. And that, for a lot of us, is a good thing. Okay, as always, if you found this informative, thumbs up, hit subscribe to be across more videos on this channel and thanks for watching.